Right. Right, I was just about to do a decoration on this jug when I I flicked a fly that landed on my arm and in the process of flicking the fly I, because I had my brush in the same hand, I flicked, as you can see, some iron oxide pigment all over this pot. So, let's take this as a, a suitable example to demonstrate that what we can bring out of a mistake We'll continue that um, that treatment. Just keep open to the fact that possibly a little mistake that occurs can be the the opening, the doorway into some new a new decoration like that. And then we're going to we've got some. This is cobalt here. Um, not pure cobalt, it's because cobalt on its own is too powerful a blue. So we tone it down with manganese and iron oxide and things like that. So it isn't so. I've also got here, which some kind friend of mine who worked in a Spanish it works in a Spanish um, tile factory in their research department got me this nice red which is I just put the odd just the odd little bit of red on here it's completely random decoration and um, But it just has that sort of. It's already got a decoration you see anyway on the back of the handle, and so we just leave it at that. I think. Don't want to uh, over decorate things. I don't like pots that are over decorated. Um, uh, living and working down here in Spain, I have to fight against that because they tend to go for the the more ornate things that are over overly decorated and I tried to sort of um, although I live out here in Spain try and live in a world of restraint as much as possible there we are that's another decoration just a word on these um, pigments these are this is red iron oxide I'm using here which is 75% uh, red iron oxide and 25% uh, red clay um, that would be how I would be using it. In fact, I'm using just neat red iron oxide here, without any without any clay in it at all. It probably would be actually a little bit better if it had a bit of red clay in with it, and that would be about 25% of red clay. Um, when putting on a pigment, when brushing on a pigment, um, be aware that. Um, you may need more than just be aware in other words of the thickness of, of the of the of the of the pigment that you're putting on because sometimes you may have to go over it again uh, because when it comes out through through the kiln you think oh, I wish I'd made that iron oxide a little bit thicker because it's just not mm, it's not breaking as I wanted it to just on the rim there you know um, so thickness is is quite important and uh, the cobalt there is 25% cobalt oxide, 25% red iron oxide, 25% manganese dioxide and 25% dry crushed porcelain body. That's really um, recipes from Lower Down and from my father David Leach who you know he's passed these things down to me and I some things I like that I carry on of course you know and uh, so we'll get ready for the next one all right okay